Hey, Bass Geek here, and I'm gonna tell you about a limited drop custom bait. I picked some up last year. I've already ordered me some. They are out now. They will not last long. Let me show you these. All right, geeks. So one thing that always happens in the fall, we've talked about this with a lot of other baits, is that everything has spawned and everything is out in open water or on the banks. Little tiny bluegill, little tiny shad, little tiny bass, little tiny fry. That's what we're gonna call them. We're gonna refer to them as fry. Something that I always tell you to do, just like we talked about the small buzz bait, is downsize your bait or downsize and look like a group of bait. And I've got a little bait for you that again is a limited time custom drop that won't last long. You need to get on it today. Something that I love to throw in the spring, but maybe even more so in the fall, is a spinner bait. And that's what I've got for you geeks today. I'm telling you, if you haven't thrown a multi-blade spinner bait in the fall, you're missing out. This is from Biz Baits. It's a custom one time a year run bait that they put together. It is incredible and I love it. So let me tell you why it is so incredible. This is natural shad. Like I said, I love a multi-blade spinner in the fall. This is the fall fry, such a perfect name for it. Now these are undersized blades too which I love. Uh, this is a very finesse bait, which I love because a lot of times in the fall before they start dropping lakes, you know, where I'm at, the water can get extremely clear. So this is an incredible little bait. Some of the things I love about it is this is a fine cut skirt. So it's got a little different action. This is a hand tied wire tied skirt. So even better, you don't have to worry about this thing coming off anytime soon. So they only make it in two sizes, which is three eighths and half ounce. And they make them in four colors. Like I said, this is the natural shad. This is one of my favorites. Two colors that I don't have, the electric shad and the sartreuse white. The last color in the color that I do have is snow white. Like I said, these are by Biz Baits, guys. They're out in North Carolina. Make sure you go check them out. They do some pretty daggone amazing baits. So let me show you. I always pick these up for the trailer. Now this is a custom color for these baits. This is called Custom Pearl Magic and it's great for a trailer for these baits. Now what I love about this little bait is the shape, it kind of bulks it up a little bit, but check out that, that tail design. It's flat on one side and got a nice little keel on the other. So a great little bait to use as a trailer. Let me show you how to put that on. Now you can put it on really either way you want. Uh, I like to put it keel down so it kills it out a little bit. And as always geeks, you all know, what I like to do is kind of measure it out just a touch. And I'm gonna measure it out to about right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put me a little hole in there. If you can't see the hole, you can just do a little pick like that. Then we're going straight through the middle, keeping the bait fat as we go, trying to keep it as centered as we can and we are gonna come right out through our hole. Show it up on that wire keeper. Get it nice and straight. And there you have it. You've got a nice little bait with a nice little trailer, but that's just a perfect little bulky trailer to get you a few more bites. So you geeks know I love to tie the pit scene knot, but the great thing about the pit scene knot is you can actually tie as a San Diego jam knot too. Now, I had never said this and somebody finally noticed it, but it's actually what I call an upside down San Diego jam knot. So what I do is I bring it, I wrap it there, there we go, about four or five times. I come through the top loop now, one thing I love about this is I'll go back down 
and through the bottom loop. There we go. And then I'll pull it down, cinch it down. So I cinch that down and what happens is, is it pushes that tag in down. Use my scissors and cut it. And so my tag end will be down. It'll fall down instead of sticking up. So it won't get as much grass if I'm fishing around some sparse grass or cover around it. And I left that a little too long. But now we're ready to go fish this thing. And yeah, I carry enough uh, rods to where I, I got to remind myself <laughs> what I'm using. So this is the rod rail line setup. Now, one thing I am gonna tell you, I do love, and you've seen it right here, the co Poly. This is K9 Fluoro, which is like a co Poly. And the reason why I like that is because I like a little stiffer rod. I do not have never liked the softer tips on rods. It just isn't who I am. I'm old school, so I like a little stiffer rod. And you can see, this is the TFO option, and this is a seven foot medium heavy fast action. So what I do to compensate that is I use this Copoly. Now it is fluoro and I'm guessing mono, I don't know. He won't tell me, <laughs> but uh, it does have just a tiny bit more stretch than fluorocarbon. And that's why I love it for a lot of horizontal baits from crank baits to chatter baits to uh, spinner baits, uh, spy baits. If you've got fine, small hooks, this is the line you wanna use. And again, 10% discount right there. Now, as far as the reel goes, this is my Fitzgerald. This is the VLD 10. Man, this thing casts well. This is a six, five to one. That's where I like my spinner baits. That allows me to fish them fast if I want or fish them really slow if I want also. All right, so I love to fish banks just like this. And as you can see, as we get up here around this point, it's perfect. A spinner bait with a little bit of wind, as they always say, wind is your friend with a spinner bait. That's what I love about this. Now, one thing you might want to do is I love to find the shad, areas that have shad, and then go fish a spinner bait down the banks, over brush piles, lay downs, whatever's out there, grass, whatever. But if you can find shad in the area, a spinner bait's almost always gonna be successful for you. Now, rarely do I ever have success on a spinner bait with a straight retrieve, and there's a lot of different retrieves that you can use. Most of the time, my kind of go-to test the water retrieve is gonna be, I'm gonna throw it out there, I'm gonna throw it right up to the edge of visibility. I love to fish a spinner bait just to where I can barely see those blades turning. A lot of times that's when you're gonna get some really great bites. So one of the things that I like to do when I fish a spinner bait is if I throw it up there super shallow, I like to move it a little quick on the first three, four turns to get it away from that splash. The reason why, if you ever watch panfish or shad, if you throw something in the water, make a little bit of a splash, they'll dart away and then turn and look a lot of times. So I'll give it two, three cranks of the reel and then stop it. And then I just keep my finger here and I'll just give the rod tip a couple of twitches and get it moving again. And then I'll just every once in a while Give it a couple of twitches so that it changes and the blades change patterns the way they're moving. A lot of times, that is when you get your arm ripped off. So when it comes to hook set, basically what you wanna do is make sure you're coming at a 45 degree angle. Then reel down, it's a spinner bait. There's still a lot of stuff, a lot of lead, a lot of blades, so they can shake their head when they jump and throw that bait. But it's a good, heavy hook. Get them to the boat, boat hop them in, get them on your thumb. I prefer to boat hop them. I don't play them too, too very much at all. 
Hey, make sure you go check out Biz Baits. Now, I have no affiliation with them. I met them in Raleigh for the first time last, or this, earlier this year. They're really great people, really great guy that owns and runs the business. Cool dude. Makes some very good baits. And this is one of my very favorites. Limited time, so you better get there. They might already be gone. So make sure you go check out the Fall Fry Spinner Bait by Biz Baits. This is a limited release and a custom spinner bait. This thing is sweet, comes in some really good colors too. Now, if you wanna find out how important blade color is to a spinner bait, make sure you go watch this video right here. Otherwise, questions and comments in the comments section below. You geeks know I love to talk about fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell so you can be part of the 100% Watch Squad. You guys help me grow this channel and you geeks rock.